and welcome to a special holiday edition of Cooking with Sarah. Today we are going to look at some very nice festive feasty foods um, such as those that you might find on your Thanksgiving table or might have found on your Thanksgiving table this past Thursday. Let me go ahead and get back into first person and get my hot bar back and get out of creative so I don't go knocking a hole in the wall again. Okay. Uh, first, let's take a look at a couple of simple little appetizers and things, such as um, your traditional celery and cheese whiz is not quite here, but you do at least have celery and peanut butter, which is exactly what it says on the tin. So hand that to your guests. Let them munch on that while you get the good stuff going. Ah. <clears throat> now, sadly, there is no turkey in Magic Farm. But we do at least have ham, and we will get to the main course here shortly. First of all, let's get the cranberry sauce going. That's easy enough. Mix up your cranberries and sugar, throw them in a saucepan. Make you some real cranberry sauce, not that sad gelatinous stuff that comes in a can. <sighs> True story, folks. Um, one Thanksgiving, we decided we were going to make real cranberry sauce, and it's so easy. It's a cup of sugar, a cup of water, a bag of cranberries, maybe some orange zest, some orange slices. Just simmer it until all the cranberries pop, and that's pretty much it. <clears throat> so anyway, we made this beautiful cranberry sauce. We put it out on the table, we sprinkled orange zest on top of it, and relatives just flipped out because where was the cranberry sauce? Where was the cranberry sauce? And what's this red stuff? What is this? Where's our cranberry sauce? Yeah. There are people in this world who think that the sad gelatinous stuff in the can is cranberry sauce. I <laughs> know. I mess with people who aren't familiar with that cranberry sauce. They tip it out of the can. They look at it and say, my God, does it always come out of the can like that? Well, of course it does. How else would you know where to slice it? <laughs> anyway, we are not doing the sad gelatinous stuff. We are doing real cranberry sauce. I'm just going to put that aside for a second. I have here uh, something we tried this year is grilled asparagus. Actually, we did um, broiled asparagus with uh, garlic, butter, and parmesan. I'm just going to take some of that and nibble on it here. Mm. Okay. Now, Thanksgiving would not be Thanksgiving, of course, without your sweet potatoes. What I did with them this year, um, instead of, you know, put them in a, doing them in a baking dish with stuff, I cut them up into about... Uh, one inch chunks, spread them out on baking sheets, maybe d dotted a little bit of butter on top of them, sprinkle on some brown sugar and cinnamon, and I baked them at about 375 for, pff, God, who knows how long, but just, you know, until you poke a fork in it and it goes in easy. And then I put on some crushed pineapple and I put on some marshmallows and I put them back in until the marshmallows toasted up, scraped them off the cookie sheet into the, into the serving dish, and they were amazing. So... But here, you just take your saucepan, your sweet potatoes, sugar and cinnamon, simmer that all up together. No marshmallows, but you can make a sweet potato pie that does use marshmallows. So, what have I got here? Oh, I've got some baked potatoes going here. Now, you can eat those just as is, or you can add butter, or, let's see, buttered potato. There we go. <clears throat> you can add salt and mash it up in a mixing bowl and get mashed potatoes, which you can eat just like that. Or you can mash garlic into them if you want to get fancy. But I'm just going to go with the uh, standard baked potato here. You never have enough potatoes. Of course, you got to have corn on the cob. Just take an ear of corn and smear some butter on it. Works great. What else have I got over here? Oh, glazed carrots, of course, of course. I'm not a fan of them, but, you know, you kind of got to have some kind of vegetable. Carrots are always good. What else have I got over here? Um, nothing else. I guess that just leaves... Oh! Oh, almost forgot the, um... Given that this Thanksgiving was actually Thanksgivinga, bigger potato cakes would be appropriate. You just uh, chop up your potato, your onion, fry them up in a skillet with a little bit of butter. Perfectly delicious. Which finally brings us to the main course. Again, sadly, 
There is no turkey in Magic Farm. No turducken, no duck. No, you can roast a chicken if you want to, but that's kind of, you know, underwhelming. Sadly, our main course is not kosher for Thanksgiving. Nope. Uh, what we have is a pineapple ham. And you take the ham and you pour the can of Coke over it. And Now, this is kind of not a little bit fancier than that. It's a raw pork chop. I guess you smush enough pork chops together, they turn into a ham. Cram it into a baking dish. Um, put some pineapple rings on top of it. Put cherries in the pineapple rings. Sprinkle it with sugar. Bake it up. Uh, cherries are one of those things that you pretty much have to get through tree breeding and forestry, though, so... This is going to be definitely a sometimes food and a very special occasion meal. If you have uh, added yourself to the mod pack, if you have added Choco Craft, you can always use a Chocobo leg for a turkey. I, I, that's kind of sad, and I hate to see people do that. <laughs> I can't stand to do it. I'll starve before I eat a Chocobo leg. <laughs> but um, yeah, there's no gravy, um, sadly. What we do for our gravy, I'll give you a little gravy hint here. Some, some people will use a flour and water slurry, which is what we used to use, or a cornstarch to thicken up their gravy. Well, we found a video last year by a lady, and it's in my favorites on YouTube, I believe. I'm not going to say the entire name of the video because it has a word in it that <laughs> I don't want to say in this series. <laughs> but it's, you know, put the effing turkey in the oven, <clears throat> is the premise of the video. And the way she did her gravy was, instead of the flour and water slurry, she took flour and butter and creamed them together into what she called a cookie dough. And then dropped uh, little crumbles of that into the gravy. And I can understand how it works. The butter kind of insulates the flour particles so they don't lump together and get all gross. And that made the best gravy we have ever had in our lives. So, if you have had problems with lumpy gravy, if you've had problems with your gravy not thickening up enough, give that a try. And as for the turkey itself, people, people, please don't deep fry your own turkey unless you are absolutely sure you know what you're doing. I am not even joking. I'm not joking in the least little bit. There are some holiday mishaps that you will laugh about in a couple of years. Burning your house down or having to go to the emergency room is not one of them. Unless you are a trained professional, and chances are you're not, please leave the turkey frying to people who know what they're doing. I do not want to see y'all have to you know, go to the emergency room. It's sad. But, anyway, <laughs> on that note, I haven't done desserts. Um, I've got the standard pumpkin pie here, and that's, that's fine. There is a sweet potato pie recipe that you could do, and I'll just, oops, sweet. Where are you? There you are. And it's dough, which is flour, salt, water, and a cutting board, <clears throat> as you know. Ground cinnamon, sweet potato, bakeware, and marshmallows, which is a pot, sugar, eggs, and water. And that makes a nice best of Thanksgiving pie. You can also mash your sweet potatoes if you like. You just uh, do them in a saucepan with butter. But I like the candied sweet potatoes. Or you can bake them. Which, yeah, just throw it in the, throw it in the furnace, throw it in the pan. And next time we will... Maybe do a, I see I've got some snow over there. I could do a little uh, little festive holiday thing here. We do some party foods and do a little bit of entertaining. So from all of us here at Cooking with Sarah, happy Thanksgiving, happy Hanukkah, happy holidays, and safe turkeying, and I will see you next time. Bon appetit. Bye-bye.